Hi everyone, welcome to another Monday Morning Stella! Alright, let's get straight into this one. I reckon you have to be really careful who you listen to. You know, I see lots of people, life coaches, coaches, people, mentors, all these things. Like, like all these people giving advice. And, and I reckon you have to be really careful. Like, for instance, if you want to become wealthy, go and find a wealthy person. Hear what they got to say. Doesn't mean you have to do it. Go and find three wealthy people and hear all their bits of different advice and make it, make it suit you. If I was using an accountant and they're giving you advice on investment advice and how to get wealthy and what to do and blah, 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 I'd want to know how wealthy that person is before they start structuring my life around what they think. 100% I'd want to know what they've done themselves. Like for instance, I know a marriage counsellor that's been divorced five times. I, I wouldn't listen to their advice. You know, like I get it, they've been through a few things and they've learnt and whatever else and they might have some experiences that might interest you. I'd go and find somebody who's been married for 70 years, happily, and been through all these things together, stayed the course, I'd listen to that person, for sure. If I had to go to war, I would go, go and find a general who had been through three wars and led people and experiences or even somebody who's worked their way up right through from a private all the way through to an officer and been through the wars, that's who I would go and find for sure. I reckon you have to be super careful in who's giving you advice. I'm not saying people who have never done it before don't know, but I would filter their advice for sure. Because they might have heard it from somebody else and might have like seen it somewhere and they're giving you advice on what they've seen. Just find people who have done it or are doing it. And don't take their advice literally because their advice might suit them and not you. Just sort of feel your way through the advice. What feels like a good idea or a bit of inspiration or something like that. The only person I would exclude from this are parents. Parents have a given right, gift, whatever you want to call it, they have an ability to help their kids see a little bit further down the track. I don't know what it is, but they just do. They can sort of see where they're at, what's going, because they know the essence of you. So parents are excluded from this. I think parents have the best advice, actually. So if you're looking for better, to create better, yes, go and find people. Yes, listen to people's advice. Be very wary of certain coaches and things. See what, they're, see what they've done, see what they're doing. See what their history is. Really get an understanding of why do they know this advice? Then filter it and make it your own. That's what you need to do. Listen to it and make it your own. Here's my last point. If you want to become great, so if you want to become really successful at something, maybe if you, even if you don't know what you're doing right now is the right thing, just become obsessed about the thing you want to do. So if you're working in something that you really like, that you like doing at the moment, become obsessed about it. You become what you think about. I reckon the most powerful advice on earth is your own instincts, for sure. The law of attraction is a real law. You get what you think about most, that's it. What you think about and what you give energy to and what you start to move towards and absorb yourself in, you will start to become. Hang around drug addicts, you become a drug addict. Hang around wealthy people, you become wealthy. Hang around fit people, you become fit. That's sort of how it works. But what you think about pulls things into your world. And the way to understand if you're on the right track is how you feel. You've got to, you've got to start giving your energy into a direction. Don't be all fractured and like frantic trying to find the answer. It will come. It will come in your calmest moments, not in your most frantic moments. That you have a navigation system inside you telling you where to go. It might not be clear right now, but just give it a break. Don't overthink this thing and you'll be showing the way. Start studying the law of attraction and you watch what happens to your life. Bit by bit by bit by bit, you will start managing your thoughts, managing your emotions, becoming emotionally strong, and also emotionally directed. 
once you can understand how powerful your emotions are, they will actually steady your world once you become steady. Other people's advice, mm, I reckon there's a great place for mentors. That's what I reckon. Mentors are fantastic to give you inspiration, insights, experiences, and interest. And you can take advice from them from what they've done, and then sort of maybe help you navigate around things. But at the end of the day, the decision making stops with you, and you are an amazing being on this amazing earth. You already have everything you need inside you. Just get focused and obsessed about something you want to become. Don't worry about the time length. Keep going after it with everything you have. Outwork everybody around you. Outfocus everybody around you. Make that your number one priority to become great on this earth. Doing that, and you watch what happens. It will come. It, it will definitely come. I can see it happening. It's taken me a long time to actually get to where I am now. But I can see it happening in my own life. And you can too. You just gotta go after it with everything you have. All right, we're gonna go for a run up the beach, up Heartbreak Hill and back to the car. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.